Hey boys, we back. Uh, router died. Man, I hope it's uh, nothing worse what happened yesterday. So, uh, started it and uh, eventually got turned on. Uh, where were we? Yeah, we have a, still uh, almost uh, an hour to go. Uh, fortunately, I finished the battle off stream uh, and I saved the replay. Let's go check a replay. The battle was so intense, almost fell out of my chair towards the end. I was just yelling, kill him, kill him, kill him! And uh, you'll see. Go watch the play. It was Shit Wizard with the Inter Slayers plus the Tier 2 Garrison versus uh, 3 units of Black Orcs, Goblin B Boss, Orc War Boss, Unit of Bigans, Unit of Nagel Marchers. And two, uh, two, uh, uh, begins on pigs. Yeah. So, this is uh, the information we had, boys. We started shooting, uh, uh, we started shooting the, uh, the orcs. I did a uh, little bit to go risk with the rune lord trying to pull those pigs. Oh, that was a nice hit. Oh, that's the, that's the hit, guys. Three kills. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Oh, 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 what do we have here? Oh, oh there was a little bit splash damage there. A little bit splash damage. I mean, balance of power says 50-50. 50-50. Fifty fifty against three black orcs and into biggins. Even with five quarters, man, it's a lot of uh, black orcs for those guys to handle. The pigs are now going around. The slayers are ready. We just need to get the lord into position to intercept the charge. Take the charge, more like it. Uh, the quarters starting to shoot on the black orcs and the biggins try to soften them up. Black orcs have a lot of health, so they're going to take damage uh, and not really casualties. Not easy to kill with the crossbows. Pigs, I'm hoping uh, uh, here to kill them with the slayers. So uh, uh, look at the charge actually on the on the lord on the small scale. Chunk of HP. Look at the chunk of HP gone. Slayers uh, did not get charged. They got in the pigs. They deal, deal nice damage. Pigs are melting. Slayers only one casualty. Here comes uh, the mean grinder. Here comes the mean grinder. We did quite a bit of damage here, but not many casualties. So all about these uh, quarrelers carrying the fight, while the slayer is killing the pigs. They do have a war boss and a goblin big boss, so two characters. There's a unit of uh, Nigel archers in the back, which will get shot to death when I stop moving those uh, quarrelers. And the slayers are slowly winning against the pigs. The character is distracting the second pig so they don't get another charge. As you can see, the slayers is winning decisively against the pigs. Easy. It was a good call getting these slayers uh, as a regiment of renown. Our uh, front row got murdered. That's why I uh, pulled back the corollers so we have some distance. Absolutely deleted, butchered, grinded, meat meat by those black corks. We've taken uh, a lot of damage, but no casualties. Really, no casualties. Only three dead. Here, trying to uh, shoot them all. Dead. There's still a lot of black orcs alive. The pigs are almost dead. The slayers have taken serious damage, but one slayer, one lord, two pigs. Uh, it uh, sounds about right. This uh, uh, thrower is uh, moving further back, so you can get some uh, line of fire on the on the black orcs. I'm spreading around the quarrelers, so I separate uh, uh, their infantry all over the place, so I can shoot them in the back. This is a tricky situation here, two quarrels about to get caught by a big boss and a war boss. And the Sheet Wizard is also in trouble here. The Slayers are about to fill their oats. They did good in this battle, nearly 30 kills. Uh, slowly killing orcs everywhere, but it does not look good. It does not look good. The Black Orcs have a lot of HP and a lot of damage, slowly killing everything.
still have over 30 black orcs plus two characters and we don't have a front line shield wizard is on 492 health trying to uh, get a big boss with the shield wizard here it's hard to deal with him because uh, uh, the rune lord lacks attack but deals quite, quite a nice damage there just uh, missing two misses three misses and got hit again missed again look at those misses it's all about misses. this guy could have been dead if three out of those misses were actually uh two hits the quarrelers uh, made those black orcs pink cushions here running low on quarrels as well there's a black orc going after shield wizard and she just cannot handle black orc with this hp and the warlord is looking for the next target Not very good here, and we have a unit of Quarrelers stuck in melee, which have still 17 ammunition left. There's a lot of uh, units all over the place. It's uh, a bit messy without ma nobody tanking and uh, melee units chasing you. Uh, these guys are about to go away, so we now have to deal with uh, uh, 14 Black Orcs. Goblin big boss on low health and uh, uh, Orc war boss on a good health. Orc war boss can hit the Quarrelers three times and a whole unit uh, uh, loses or half the health. So we have to uh, spread out, disengage. You can see uh, on the minimap which we don't have in the game, the yellow dots are units all over the place. The white dots are the uh, routing units and the green dots are the enemy and uh, the red dots are the enemy units. Shield Wizard is running for his life, but this uh, Goblin Big Boss is persistent. Shooting those uh, remaining Black Orcs with artillery and the Quarrelers. If we lose Shield Wizard, we'll lose a lot of leadership. 16 instantly and 10 uh, uh, after, after a couple of, of uh, dozen seconds pass. The Golden Big Boss is getting closer and closer. 35 speed versus uh, 32. Our core boss is routed another unit. We're low on ammo and our units are quite diminished. Those Black Orcs uh, don't seem to be any problem here. The Big Boss is gonna get his. I decided here, uh, you know, I'm gonna turn around and attack him because uh, we're getting about to get hit. And look at this, he hit twice in a row. He cut off Shit Wizard's head. Shit Wizard lost his head, ladies and gentlemen. No head. He's no longer a, a, a dwarf. He's something, something less. No head. No head. Shit Wizard has lost his head. General is dead. Still have to deal with uh, 11 Black Orcs. Goblin Big Boss. Very mean Goblin Big Boss. 24 kills. 24 dwarf kills on low scale, that's quite a, quite a bit. And a war boss on 300 uh, health with 50 kills already, Jesus. I send all the units here in hope to uh, uh, kill the war boss to route the rest of the units. Uh, this was about, this is like 50 50. We either uh, wound him or we get mass routed. This will be a good this was uh, this was it. This was it. Kill or get killed. Will the city get destroyed? We got a couple of good hits with great weapons. The great weapons did a good job here. Started to lose now, and the war or war boss routed. Or war boss routed. One of the dwarf warriors with great weapon just gonna cut off his leg. Oh, there it is. Or core boss dead. The enemy general is dead. The golden big boss seeing the big or core boss dead. Lost heart and runs. And uh, this was it. It was a victory. Pyrrhic victory. 
Now uh, let's go back into the campaign and see what has happened in the campaign. We save the city, the slayers have paid their oaths and shit wizard, oh wait, we have the technology, we patched him up, shit wizard is alive, alive and well, already replenished, getting uh, in good care by the all the uh, sexy dwarf nurses. We attach his head back to his uh, neck. He's good as new. Marvelous of Dwarf Engineering. <laughs> Load the screen already, come on. Alive and well. Attach that head back to his shoulders. Good as new. You have to give him a title here. Good as new. I'd rather eat a squeak. Okay, uh, where were we? Where were we? Save the game here at the start of the turn. And uh, we need to try to finish them off there. Master of Runecraft. Okay, ring 27 here. Shit wizard the headless. Well, he has his head, so I can't call him the headless. I. We should try to finish them off here. They got a, a night goblin war boss. What do you want? I don't have enough units to do anything here. If I kill them here, they will just uh, recruit them back here. So let them uh, run around. I hope. You're not right, Dad. So uh, this is a this is a known uh, uh, glitch. Uh, when the character gets uh, uh, killed, but it's alive at the end battle. It uh, it's rare, doesn't happen very often, but it happens. As you seen in the battle, Shit Wizard got decapitated, killed by the Golden Big Boss, but he was alive. Zero health into a replenishment, 337, and now 400, 424 with plus three percent extra. Uh, that's a that's a, a old glitch. It happens on both sides, for the AI and for the player. Lord of the it looks like internet is about to break again. What the hell is going on today? Internet about to break again, guys. Red, it's red. What the fuck is that? I swear, since I got this super fast internet, the Twitch server has gotten shittier than ever. It's like they don't want, they can't handle 6,000 upload. Where were we? True king of AP. There's gonna be some uh, buffering, guys. It's not on my end. It's Twitch servers. I switched server again, but it's shitty as usual. I remember weekends back in the day, like 2016, always lags and disconnects. Let's uh, take this place here. We are securing Blight Water in the Eastern Badlands. There are only two towers here, so might as well shoot them. Also, guys, I've decided that uh, we're gonna be uh, starting the the first Dead is Dead uh, run in some uh, uh, other time, not today, in Fallout New Vegas. First of uh, uh, like two or three runs I plan with uh, Dead is Dead. 
I need a little bit into a later schedule to play Fallout. Cannon! The first one will be a melee guy. The rules will be uh, that is dead, so one life. Unless I have the cups. 10,000 cups for the next life. Uh, so if I have, when I die, if I have 10,000 cups, I have to put 10,000 cups in Doc Mitchell house and uh, I can continue. Every time uh, uh, there is a debt, 10,000 cups can bring back. Also, the starting items all have to be put in Doc Mitchell's house. Nothing can be taken except only two items. So like a, like a weapon and an armor. That's gonna be the rules. Uh, the first character will be uh, Melee. Explo and explosives and a minigun if we get to the late game. Evil guy. Well, 10,000 cups per life, Rubio. As long as uh, we have the caps, we get to live. No caps, dead. Dead. I think uh, uh, having a uh, dead is dead with 10,000 caps per life is a uh, pretty good rule. Because uh, there can be some random things that can kill you, like a lurking death claw. It's usually the most common, or, a m or mines on very hard. I think it's gonna be exciting to watch and exciting to play. Usually, dead, dead, dead is dead runs don't last longer than uh, like 15 20 hours. What happened? Uh, router stopped working. Probably uh, gonna start in a couple of days, like uh, late, when it gets dark. I like playing full when it's dark. The Beastman campaign and the Clown campaign will continue until finished. Until we decide that we're done with it. Which city is this? Uh, Crooked Fang Fort. I think. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot. Shot him dead. Scotty, what the, what the hell is this paint, paint to win rifle he has? He's trying to aim, but change his mind. Change his mind. Every, try to aim, change his mind. Try to aim, change his mind. This is glitched AI. Ah, look at that. Aim. Come on, shoot it. Change his mind. Shoot. Aim. Acquire target. Shoot. Shoot. Attack. Just glitched uh, AI. Holy shit. Triple kill. X. X. When the unit of vegans have 25 models and he, you get 3 kills. Oh man. Look at that, look at that. Double kill. Scotty is cheating this campaign. There's uh, uh, silver bullets. Pay to win bullets. Why is he missing from this angle now? Is he trying to shoot somebody in the bull is flying too high? Is it so? Is it that's because? Yes, yeah, uh, invisible wall. How do we fix this? Go a little bit to the left. It's this micro uh, micro bugs in the game. I don't even think that the even developers know they exist. See that? He's trying to shoot a unit that is not there because the, un the, the unit is not supposed to be like this after taking a couple of casualties. Okay, he shot this one guy now. See, he's trying to shoot to the right side, but the unit is on the left. Yeah, shooting the right side.
Guys, in case you missed it, uh, when we got back, I shown the replay of the battle that was finished off stream. So you know what happened. It was a pretty intense battle. issues hitting the center of the unit. That shouldn't too much to the left or move too much to the right. Can't believe a master engineer on this uh, scale can uh, single-handedly kill a unit of begins. That's ridiculous. It's like impossible on the scale. Holy shit, man! One more bullet. Poor guy shattered. Had enough. They don't want to live again. Live anymore. Scary. What are they doing, those poor orcs? We have a empire with normal scale planned. Personally, after playing a uh, small scale uh, already uh, this much with Clan Angron, I uh, uh, not really uh, think we're going to be playing a small scale again. Might be different for uh, for a uh, normal scale. There's some serious balance issues on this scale. Notice that there are only 25 war forces in the unit. Small scale, 100 is uh, is uh, the uh, ultra scale. So uh, the number of entities uh, and health of the units is scaled, but not the damage. There's nothing I can fix. There is a command slash small, submission mark small. Since uh, each unit of range is only 20 ranges, they will climb the wall faster. We could have done this battle of 50 different ways, but uh, we're doing it this way. They can't do anything to the ghosts, they are pretty uh, beefed up. Score with 38 kills, that's most impressive on this scale. 
Hunter. 41 just did a triple kill there. Yeah, I don't know why Scott is complaining about, uh, you know, too much alcohol last night. You know, he's dead. He's a ghost. Oh shit, it's actually a very good angle. Look at that. War of vengeance. We stay put. We'll guard it. What you gonna do about these green skins? Can handle a couple of rangers. They're not gonna get triggered as long as we don't capture the center. Rangers can do all kind of shenanigans in the city because of stock. Look at that guy! Scotty, what have you done? Stop bullying goblins. I don't think they have many night goblins in this city. Now they get triggered to uh, cap the city. So we just take our uh, shoot position here. So this city is very nice with this. We still have enough armor, I feel. The strangers are getting killed, though. Oh my god! Have you seen that shit? Holy shit! What the hell? They're doing damage there. We can go back invisible, I think. What were those? Uh, Golden Arches? Maybe we should have stayed away a little bit further from the Arches. Oh my god! Hello, thank you. Hey, Khan Senpai, thank you too. These tactics, these are uh, uh, actual, actual uh, uh, tactical units from the wars because they have the uh, stock. And now we we'll win. You really think uh, uh, we cannot win this battle the other way with our veteran army? This is a fun way to do it. Our uh, special forces have uh, uh, done all the work. They got seven ranges down. We can do this uh, without losing a single casualty. Basically, we capture, hide, and then capture again and hide. They don't know what's going on and just take over the city. It's a small garrison, so they can't respond to stock units, really. I mean, they're rank 9 ranges, after all. This is a thing, uh, something our rangers would actually do. We can do the shit with Nessus Caulkers and also the Night Goblins. True king of AP. Look at this. I think this is for the first time ever that we have old battle skills. 
all 25 battle skills. We have four seeker and the good stuff on the top. So why not? All the units get uh, get the buffs. Makes uh, uh, you know taking getting units convenient. So what's uh, live here exactly? They have gorge. Do have a little bit of replenishment now. Should be enough uh, if uh, they attack. So we spend this mid treasury. Revenge incarnate. This good hero. This place will get slowly fortified. I think. Good growth. Good replenishment. All dwarf units are strong in Belgar's army. In Belgar's army, uh, more than enough. This area is just overkill. We got uh, the good stuff too. Calling has 20%. Bres has 20%. Core snipes have 10. Uh, what about uh, RuneScape? 10. Now that I see uh, 10 and 20%, I wonder what happened to the 20% physical one. I just forgot about it. Karakazul would be a nice target there. It looks like uh, uh, something's gonna rebel there. It does look like it. Uh, we got the replenishment. Uh, master crafted armor. Uh, it's probably better to get uh, this damage here. For the uh, hand weapons, mining picks, 200 axes and the hammers. Lord of the well, uh, I think a lot of people uh, uh, go lightning strike on Belagor. So uh, they might take something like this. Although this is better if you're going to lightning strike. These campaigns are uh, re uh, these skills are really bad. If replenishment was here, it would actually make campaign skills viable and lightning strike an option. I'm just not a big fan of uh, lightning strike on dwarves. Unless you're playing one of the extreme campaigns. I think uh, for a lot of people Lightning Strike is a common thing on Belagar. Well, Master kind of makes no sense since Belagar has Siege Attacker. Absolutely makes no sense. First area, uh, they should move that uh, mason shit and put the replenishment instead. Uh, one turn is the minimum my item there, so you besiege them and one turn passes and the next turn uh, it passes and they don't sell you out, they take attrition. Hey manual. I don't like this army here. Karak Zifling, Crooked Moon together coming to attack us at Karak Kislev. It's a life, li uh, livelihood here. It's gonna be rough for the economy, uh, but we're building up Blight Water, so losing Karak Kislev uh, should be fine. Maybe. Maybe. How's it been going? Uh, There's been a lot of sabotage, so it's. Uh, been tricky. Hero battle uh, they're actually not melee experts, while uh, the damage is high because damage doesn't scale, but uh, if they miss, uh, they get wrecked. Missing on low scale is really bad, because the units have a lot much less health, so if you miss with a big attack, you get wrecked. For example, Belgar without uh, items and skills was getting uh, murdered by the Orc boys. So they're much worse because uh, they cannot uh, be melee experts. Until they get much higher level uh, character skills and items.
Yeah, that, uh, that makes sense, Amir. That makes sense. How much do I have to beg you to start a New Vegas run during the weekend so I can actually watch? You mean like starting today, uh, Rubio? So like Saturday? For you, you don't. You just have to ask Ruby, and we can, we can, uh, we can do it. I refuse. Attack. Mm, I don't think we can handle two armies here. This city is big deal because it uh, uh, diverts the enemy arms. I refuse. Are they guys not fighting uh, Crooked Moon? Oh my god, they are not. It's pretty bad. I, I could start, I could start today. I have, I think I have a, uh, a big Red Bull in the fridge. Hmm. I hope they do not recruit here. We should just go for a spite peak in Karakazul while we have a good uh, 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 good advantage here. It's very important to get rid of the green skins from this part of the map. They're gonna try to get armies, but we're gonna smash them. So, for example, uh, Belegar without. Uh, so, let's say rank 1 Belegar. No items. He's actually gonna get uh, uh, smacked hard every battle to the point where uh, until he get a healing item, he's gonna he's gonna struggle. But once you get stuff like Armor of Fortune, Talisman of Protection, which adds uh, 18 ward save and 18 physical resistance, with some uh, uh, more defense and health, uh, he actually becomes uh, almost as good as an ultra. Except uh, against certain units, he's still gonna struggle. Like, uh, you know, like uh, uh, if he gets surrounded by Black Orc unit or the Chosen Great Weapons, he's, uh, he's gonna get wrecked. But even on Ultra, Bella getting surrounded by a Chosen uh, uh, Great Weapons and Black Orc might take heavy damage. But you need to make sure that doesn't happen by uh, supporting him. Those uh, units will do a lot of damage to any, any melee expert. But here, uh, uh, he might get uh, wrecked much faster if uh, that happens. Like for example, uh, calling uh, the second Tain, 95 male defense can handle anything, as long as it's not magic. True King. I don't want to say when. Uh, when we get the good stuff, we need the resources. I do hope they're not using global recruitment here. They probably have an ar another army right. being built already. Vampires rank here. one. What the hell? What's going on in the empire? So Crooked Moon has taken Null, and they went around to attack Karakislev. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, this. Uh, we need to secure this area here, cause this is a shit fest here. I don't think we're gonna keep this place. Maybe the rebels will help. Mm, the money is good at uh, Blightwater. The uh, the Gen Carter's Workshop Tier Three makes good bank, but we can't sign any trade agreements right now. I could get uh, marble at most modern of desperate. We've been doing pretty good here. It's, it was a good call trying to uh, uh, secure this area and uh, not just rush Karakit Peaks. We could have gotten here and then just get surrounded from all sides of the with poor replenishment without lightning strike would be really bad. So taking securing the south, making sure nobody is bothering us uh, was much better than just going for the Karakit Peaks. Ooh. 
GG follow 3 crash 2 for... Yeah, it did, it did. But uh, the longer the game takes, the harder uh, the increase the odds of crashing. After 30 hours it will crash. It will... it becomes unstable just how the game is. You, you have to turn off auto save and not override any saves and it will minimize it. But eventually it will happen. It will happen. But it's uh, not as common as with fixes, you know. It's still playable but will crash occasionally. I managed to uh, f place that area, Captain Canuck, and just save that, uh, the finish the declaration of independence quest, just saved outside the Rivet City. But it crashed like 10 times before I uh, managed to do it. And towards the end, uh, uh, that NPC glitched, uh, it was feasting while uh, controlling the SMG with the mind. I don't know how they never fix stuff like that. That, uh, that cannot be fixed, that's just issue with the engine and the game. Yeah, we had a lot of treasures with all of The game is more stable if you only have one monitor turned on, from my experience. And the Fallout New Vegas is playable enough. I'm not gonna try the GOG version of Fallout New Vegas. Uh, see if it crashes less than the Steam version. I'm gonna, uh, uh, not gonna have all my hours in Steam then. I do have over six, 600 hours in Fallout New Vegas on Steam. On average, it's like every one crash probably every four hours. Guesstimate. Oh, nice, look at that. But just we got weak in them. Love when the rebels do that. So the plan is now, boys, then, uh, since Ruby S nicely, I'm, uh, I'm going to wait for dinner slash lunch, and uh, we'll be playing Warhammer until then, which is gonna be not not that much longer, and then we're gonna switch to Fallout New Vegas, uh, play uh, play that is that run. Our Warhammer will continue tomorrow. Uh, this type of follow the Omega run uh, can end really fast. Because one life with rules. Roach Please bear. tell me a moment. Oh my god. Room bear, white dwarf, not like this. How the hell did they recruit already in 8 ah. units in a single turn? That is insane. A giant and another 7 units in a single turn must be nice. Must be nice. What the hell is this, uh, the size of the treasure? Uh, you'll check. You'll see the rules. I'll put the, put them in the command. It's actually uh, pretty interesting. So it supports, you know, re uh, really strong replay value. That's how you make the Fallen Vegas really interesting. With that is that. Yeah, this is bad here. This is really bad. We're probably gonna lose Ekirund and uh, Karakbambalam. I don't like the look of this either. How the hell did they recruit 8 units a single turn? Building a giant. And people are complaining, AI doesn't know how to build buildings. They're never gonna build like the player. Well, psh, AI gets free money. He needs. They just spam military buildings and recruit giants in a single turn. That's how they work. That's better than the player get. They don't need the same buildings as the player. There are definitely uh, uh, exceptions like uh, Clan Angron building farm instead of uh, Copper Mountain. So, you know, that's just bad code. But AI uh, uh, benefits more from military buildings than economy buildings. Gazzle are poison stacks, so it's insane. You had, can't really panic and spam anti venom. You run out and you're dead. The problem is, uh, if you're not fighting the Legion, you're gonna not have enough anti venom, so you're gonna have to use survival to craft anti venom. I mean, if you're going melee, you have to get survival anyways. You need to stack up on a ridiculous amount of healing if you're not gonna melee stuff, uh, really hard stuff. So it's all about out healing the damage. 
Are you serious? Have you seen that shit? Are you telling me they recruited all this in two turns? That is insane! I mean, I've seen this a million times, but I still get shocked. I still get shocked. Look at this. This army has been recruited in two turns. Plus a giant and extra extra two units here. That's why you have to jump on their settlements, uh, like cut this in the you know, you know before it grows. The best way to storm greenskins is defeat them in the field, and they just rush their settlements before they recruit new troops, limiting every settlement while they're trying to recruit, and uh, they're just dead. The altar is always messed up because uh, small armies attacking us first. Are you serious? How did they come behind us? I guess, I guess, I guess. I guess we just uh, hug them. It's actually pretty bad here, we have to deploy on the other end. Thank God we Belaga, right? They tried to uh, sneak us from behind, but we have uh, Vanguard. Suckers! Giant, so we can actually hit it. We need to make sure this thing dies here. guys uh, surviving would be uh, not good for us. But this we have to chase them around. It's actually really bad uh, we didn't kill this. Am I mean, really bad. That sucks. We're gonna have to lose some movement to finish them up next turn. Well, well uh, we put it two cannons, a rifle of from the hero and five rank 9 rangers. Even an ultra giant would die so fast at this distance. What happened to Lord uh, Kilberry Heroes? They have uh, really high damage here. Everybody gets a hit here, a Lord is dead. And Lord in the game. This is a veteran army, and for them to fight us, they need uh, to outnumber us like crazy. It's the only way the greens can save a chance. Because we apply our pressure, mass terror triggers, and they're on the run. Well, they attacked because we were training the settlement. They had a garrison nearby as well. It's the same shit like uh, uh, why they block you, just you're too close. They're not gonna let you uh, uh, be in the area, they, they have to attack. That's how it is. The balance of power is always uh, 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 bad when a smaller force is attacking. And then forced by the bigger force. Giants, uh, uh, somehow the developers have forgotten to give them missile resistance. Giant needs to get 15 missile resistance like any hero has. Uh, it's mind boggling they forgot about that. They probably uh, did it on purpose, but since the overpower range has uh, been added in Warhammer 2, uh, makes the Giants look really bad. Unite! 
Warhammer 2 should have added the missile resistance to the Giants. Because it's uh, it should be a good AI unit, not a weak AI unit. Giants get hard countered by any range. Sorry guys for interrupting, Grimgor called again, he says he's coming for me. You know where I live. Ancestors!
Wazek. Time to slay Oathbreakers. Scaven attacked <laughs> attack them, what the hell? I love it. Bell skills, all the bell skills. This on top is absolute piling shit. I guess so we could get another 12 defense here. Twelve defense and six attack. Sounds good. You don't want to miss. Makes uh, Belagar a good uh, a duelist as well, then, on this scale. On this scale with those stats, you're a duelist too. The Elder Hold is really nice much later. What for? Much later, you just don't take any casualties any, ever in the regular campaign. Stretcher in five turns. Mm, not enough to auto resolve. What? Stop that! And make sure this uh, Blazak main flag gets killed in Bell. Yes. We don't want to waste movement here. The color game I guess uh, you can find use for everything if you if you really want to use it. This is coming there, huh? Okay, this is a very nice battlefield. Dead, dead. Yes. True king of air beats. That's his outfit. I'll do it. We demand blood. Take them down. Terrified. I didn't even get close enough to get terrified.
Where is it Vesic was it going? Hold on guys, phone again. God damn, I need to change my number. Grimgo is starting to harass me. He said uh, he's working on an alliance with the High King. We are in deep shit, boys. Well, uh, you know, they don't have internet yet in the Badlands, Rubio, they just have, uh, you know, they just got uh, phones, telephones for the first time. I'm playing on Ultra, Ultra always. It's just, uh, you know, for different experience here. How did they even take so much damage? Black Corks, 9 kills. This is good, uh, we kicked them out of the uh, southern badlands. This is uh, very good boys, very good, look at that. Look at that. Clan Angrund. Next stop, Karakazul, Karakate Peaks. Next time. I'm gonna go eat uh, dinner slash uh, lunch. And uh, it'll be big uh, later in about 20 minutes, 25. I'll be playing some Fallout New Vegas. Uh, before sleep. See you guys uh, later.